All right, guys, exciting one today. I bought a package set from somewhere I never thought I'd ever buy golf clubs from, Aldi. It's a supermarket here in the UK, a very popular one, actually. And I saw online a few weeks ago that it was selling a package set of clubs, and the price just, like, caught my attention straight away. Now, if they really market these golf clubs, it could reach non-golfers, which is great. It's a huge positive. I love that. It's, I can imagine it's got a mailing list which is absolutely gigantic. The only thing that scares me, if these clubs are terrible or they're not fit for purpose, a lot of non-golfers might buy these clubs, give them a test and then quit because they're not good enough. So we've got to find out if they are. Are they going to be incredible value for under £200? Are they going to be horrendous? Or am I going to be surprised? Let's find out. Let's head to the course and give them a test. There is a bit of damage here on the box. Hopefully that's not damaged the clubs. I'll have to open it up and find out. And I also got this with it as well, because there's a few extra little bits that come with the clubs also for that price. All right, so the clubs are out of the box. And first inspection, actually not too bad. You'll notice they're made by Ben Sayers, which kind of gives me a little bit of reassurance. It's actually Ben Sayers has been around since 1873. And you might see Ben Sayers more recently selling package sets and certainly beginner sets on other sites as well. But I've got to admit, even just scouring the internet quickly, this is the cheapest half set that I can possibly find. Now in the set, you get eight clubs. Driver, 10 and a half degree. We've got three wood. Hybrid, which is like a 23 degree hybrid, like a five iron effectively, four iron. Then you've got a couple of mid iron, six and eight iron, and a couple of lofted irons, pitching wedge and sand wedge, and a putter. And then the bag, stand bag, double strap, actually not bad at all. For kind of starter sets go, there's a lot of promise there. Like nothing massively offends me, and I feel like I can play golf. However, there's two major things I've picked up on. Number one, attention to detail the driver on the crown quite simply a bit of a schoolboy error it's almost like they've put the head cover on the golf club too early before the paint was even dry and the other thing i want to say this putter as much as the design is actually very very nice the material looks like the material you'd get from like a, a metal putt putt golf course it looks absolutely terrible material wise but it might still work you never know now you might be thinking, what was the goodies? What's in the other box? Well, part of this set, which in total, including delivery, was £198. You got this box as well. Right, in here, you get PGA Tour towel and club cleaner to really look the real deal out on the course. And some of these, <laughs> these are mad. 12 premium lake balls, 100% recycled. Now these are Nike golf balls as well, so I'm intrigued to know actually if they are any good and whether I'll actually use them or not. Well, anyway, so far, not bad. Let's open this up, get them on the bag and get on the golf course. Okay, slight change of plan. The weather is turning for the worse. It's really windy, it's about to tip it down. But I can't wait to hit these clubs, so I'm gonna head to the range first and maybe jump out on the golf course, probably more like tomorrow now. They actually don't feel too bad. Some nice strike marks there. Whoa, <laughs> grips on a bit wonky. Oh my goodness. Like that head straight now and Ben Sayers is way to the left. Oh, that's a, that's a real shoddy job there. <laughs> oh yeah. That's got, that's got a bit of whip in it. Yeah, a little, a little bit too much kick in the shaft of that. It shouldn't go that straight. A club that flat shouldn't go that straight. All 
Okay, the sun's out and we're back on the golf course. Now, after spending some time on the driving range, this is what I found out. The grips are poorly fitted, they're not straight at all. The shafts in the woods feel very flimsy. The three wood is ridiculously flat angle. No way of hitting that one left. The hybrid alignment is very strangely positioned, really in the middle of the head. And the driver is very closed at address and the paintwork on the alignment is very, very annoying. But all that being said, the performance wasn't too bad. Like I actually felt like I hit some good shots on the range. So I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna jump on the golf course, play three holes here, little par three up the hill, par four coming back and then par five. I've got my GC quad with me as well because I'm intrigued to see how far this driver's actually going. And at the end of this video, I think I might have set up a little fun challenge coming soon. Stay tuned to find out what that is. So I've got my nice new towel attached and my club cleaner ready for action. Now, these golf balls, I know they came with the set, and I've just had a quick look at them, and they actually look fine. They just look like old Nike golf balls, things like Mojos and other types of balls. But really, I'm not gonna use them in this test. I'm gonna use, use a Pro-V one that I'd normally use, just so that I can't blame the ball for the club's performances as such. Right, first hole, it's playing about 180 yards. I think I can probably get hit six high in there. That's what I'd normally hit, so let's see if that's what I hit with these clubs. Now the other thing I wanted to say as well, the actual shaping of the iron head isn't too bad at all. That should remind me slightly of like an oversized Callaway iron behind the golf ball, looks wise anyway. All right, come on, let's hit a good shot to start. That's actually not bad. That's actually pretty good. Front edge of the green, the flight was strong, a little kind of penetrating draw. Hey, listen, we're going to be putting. I've not actually hit the putter once yet. So that'll be interesting to see what that's like. This is where that ball pitched. We've got a little bit of backspin going on as well. Not loads, but chewed back a touch. Let's see how the performance is. We've got a nice little alignment line on top and a three at the back. It's a classic shape. It's like a Ping Piper. I remember having one of those back in the day. It's actually... Oh, keep going. It, the, the one thing I'd say, it's quite light. Like the head feels quite light. So I felt like I had to give that a real swing to get it up there. As you can see, I've still left that a touch short. You know what I have kind of realized already after hitting the shots at the driving range and even just hitting a couple of shots out on the golf course. I feel like I know these clubs would suit kind of quite a new golfer. You know, and you might be watching this video and say, well, I've got golf clubs, I don't need them. But how many times have we tried to introduce a friend into golf and they might be a bit worried about spending loads of money on top end brands. You don't have to when you first start playing golf. This is not a bad entry level set. It'll do the job. Nice. So as I mentioned earlier, this set isn't perfect by any means. And even looking a little bit more detailed, like this bag is okay, but it's not gonna last you forever. It does feel a little bit flimsy. And even things like the head covers, they're doing a job, but they're not the best quality. And also you might question kind of quality control. Certainly with a set like this, you're not gonna get it exactly the same as your big major brands, but that's why you pay the extra bucks. Now what I am interested to see as well, I've got GC quad set up, is I've got, a feeling that this driver won't go as far. I saw that a little bit of the driving range yesterday. Let me hit some shots on GC Quad with Pro V1s and just see what the actual difference is. Like I normally carry the ball about 280 yards, get about 160 miles per hour ball speed with my normal top of the range driver. What would it be like with this? That wasn't bad. <laughs> it was dead straight to where I was aiming. Let me give you some numbers. Yeah, 200, I hit that really well. 253 yards of carry and only 149 miles per hour ball speed. And I did, I hit that solid. So a few more, see if anything changes. Yeah, that was really well hit again. Like I, I couldn't have struck that any nicer. 252 yards carry, 152 miles per hour ball speed. I don't think I'm gonna get much more out of it than that. So that's like nearly 30 yards shorter than my standard driver. Now again, a lot of people when they first start, I don't think this is a massive issue because it's just getting them going. 
What I do quite like, it feels like an easy driver to hit, and that's what's more important. Right, what I'm gonna do next, I'm gonna play that last ball, I'm gonna play it from there, play this hole in the par five, and just see what I can shoot, and then I'll tell you about what the fun challenge is gonna be coming up next. Right, just making sure my grooves are nice and clean. My club face is nice and dry. <laughs> Gotta use it. Now, normally if I'm hitting my normal drive of that game, I would be kind of front of the green, probably nearing that bunker or certainly around the front. And obviously you can see here, I'm like 40 yards further back. So definitely there's a big difference between my normal driver. However, Let's see if we can play a nice little pitch in here. I've just got a sand wedge in hand. Got a little bunker to get over. Come on, play a nice shot here. Sit. Oh! I didn't expect that little bit of naughty spin. It's because I cleaned my grooves. It's because I had clean, dry grooves. It makes all the difference. This is the true winner today. This little combination. That was actually quite a nice shot. Flew it past the flag, but it didn't half back up a few feet. Oh, I thought it was going to be faster. That's a shame. Par. Onto the par five next. As I play this last hole of the par five, I'm also going to tell you what the challenge is coming up next, and it is an absolute cracker. Oh, yes. We'll take that. It's gone nowhere, but we'll take it. So the challenge coming up in the next video is this. I'm gonna play round here, my home golf course, Marriott Worsley Park, for nine holes using my own golf clubs. The clubs I use every single day. The clubs that are fitted for me, that are fine tuned to my performance. And I'm gonna play against this 200 pound package set. They might think, well, Rick, surely, surely your club's gonna do better. That's what you think. However, the golfer I've got using these clubs is pretty special. Now, James Robinson is an ex tour pro. He's played in the Open Championship. You might have seen videos already on the channel where he's played around here with a really cheap package set and played it incredible. You might have also seen the fact where he played with just four clubs and I played my full set. And again, it was a great match. But this time, is he going to be able to use these? Is he going to struggle because there's massive gaps in the set? Or are we just going to see that James Robinson can again play with absolutely anything and absolutely wipe the floor with me? At the moment, I must admit, I'm feeling confident. But that may change as we play the match. So we will see you in the next video. It's going to be good.